All right, so the next thing we're going to be doing is creating a background. So Godot actually has a very nice built-in system for this. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new node. We're going to create a parallax background. Here we go, this one. And then we're going to add parallax layers. Okay, so the layer essentially is going to add pictures in each layer and then it's going to kind of go through that motion so let's actually just do it and then i'll explain it after so the first thing we're going to want to do is look through our sprites and kind of find what we want to use so the first thing we're going to use is the back background the very very back so we're going to use this guy i'm going to set it up and just put it in the back we're going to save this as bg we'll save it in the main scene we'll use this as a parallax layer so now what we'll do is we'll go there and now we'll duplicate this and we'll take this guy and we're gonna we're not gonna actually we'll delete it and then we're, let's look at some other things we can use let's use this one so now we can kind of drag this in and unfortunately there's only one of these so what we'll do is we will just duplicate this a few times so we get like this we'll kind of move it up a little bit try to make it fit nicely there we go Okay, and now let's take those two, duplicate those, move it again, and move it. And that is it. Let's duplicate one more time. All right, there we go. Okay, this is going to be a bit awkward, but it should work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the motion. We're going to go to motion and mirror. So this is going to be a bit awkward because the background here, parallax layer, is going to be at 1152. So we'll go to the x axis, 1152. And now, as you can see, it's been duplicated there. Now, however, for the <clears throat> for the other one, we're going to want to duplicate it right around there, which will, if we zoom in, it'll be. We can see 1232. So now we can see that it's been duplicated one more time and it's all the way on the right. So now what we want to do is go to our parallax background. We'll rename this to BG, the entire thing, please. There we go. And we'll add a script. And in here, this is actually very simple, not much code. We'll take a variable, we'll add that. And then we're just going to add a function process delta and we'll say scroll offset dot x minus equals scrolling speed times delta so what this is going to do is basically send every, our offset to the left so let's play and see what we get we have to actually add this let's add it to our main scene so let's go to background and let's add it here and let's see what we get one more time awesome we now have a moving background and it should get duplicated infinitely <clears throat> so let's wait a second to see how fast how far it goes okay Hopefully you've kind of noticed that it is infinite. So it gets mirrored every whatever pixel that we put, right? So those were the mirrors that we put. And now let's close that. Let's actually move this down a little bit. Let's take all these and just move it down slightly. So it's on the bottom of the screen. Awesome. Let's actually make sure we pixelate it properly. There we go. Next up, what we can do is we can change the scale. So the scale, let's actually unlink this and we'll scale this to one, uh, we'll do 0.7. So what this is going to do is basically make it go slower than the background. So now we have the front going a bit slower than the back. So now we have a nice little parallax background where this front goes a little slower than the back. And lastly, what we can maybe do is look to add something else. We can maybe look to add, could add plants. What is this? We could add this, but we're not going to. We're just going to delete that. And But you guys got the idea. You can kind of add whatever you want to the background. We can maybe add a house here. Let's duplicate the parallax layer here. Let's put it on the bottom. Let's put this plant house here. Delete the back. And then we'll put this one actually behind the grass. So we'll have it kind of over here hiding in the back. And what we can do is just duplicate this and kind of put a few in different place, spots so that way we have a bit of variety. Awesome, whoops. Let's take these guys and just lock those so I can't move them. We'll take that and move it right there. Awesome. We now have a little bit of variety. So now we have houses in the back and things in the, in the, in the front. So let's change the houses one more time. Let's name this houses. Let's change the motion of this. Let's make it, we have to unlink this, and let's make it 0 0.5. And let's play one more time and see what we get. 
Awesome. We now have a few houses that go slightly slower than everything else. In fact, if you don't want to, you can just make this zero and it won't move at all. So if you do that, they just won't move. But it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. And I encourage you to be creative with the parallax background. Godot has a very nice parallax background and a way to do this. So let's close this. Let's go to our world and let's add our background in there too. In this one, we're going to actually make something slightly different. So what we'll do is we'll put this to the top and we're going to make it local. This, what this is going to do is essentially add it to our scene. And now what we're going to do is delete the houses. We don't want those. We're going to delete this and that's it. So now we have our actual background of the, tr the sky and everything in our actual scene. So now when I play, this is what we get instead. So now what we can do is look to actually add the ground. So we'll, let's delete this ground. And now what we'll do is we'll just add a, what is it called? We're going to add a grid map or a tile set. So we're going to search up tiles map. We're going to create this. Let's add it to the top. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right. We're going to see tile set. We're going to say new tile set. The tiles, we'll take a look at it in a second. But what we'll do is we'll also have to find the tiles that we're going to use. So let's use this one. So in Sunnyland Phaser Project, we can find this tile set. Uh, there should be a few. There's actually a few duplicates. So you're going to have to kind of look for whatever you want. There's a lot of props as well that we can look at. There's layers, which is cool. Sprites, sprite sheets. Let's take a look at the sprite sheet. No, we don't want that. Okay, so we're going to be using this tile set. Okay, so let's go in here. We can click the tile set and go here. Go to the tile set on the bottom. So we want to edit the tile set, not the tile map. And we're just going to drag this tile set in. And that's it. So now what we can do without doing any auto stuff, we can actually go to our tile map. We're going to select the tile that we want. And now what we can do is just draw. A faster way to do this is selecting the rectangle. Now we can kind of zoom out and just draw like this. We can drag and drop like that. That's fine. And then what we can do is just add, fill in the dirt. So go here like that. And now we have a dirt ground, which is actually what we want. Let's make this a little prettier. Okay, and that'll be it for that. So let's play and see what happens. Well, if you might already realize what happens is nothing. We're going to go through the floor. So what we want to do is actually add physics to the layers. And the way we can do that is by going to the tile map. We'll go to the right side. We'll add element to the physics. Let's go to the tile set. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to paint. We're going to select property. We're going to edit the physics layer. And now what we can do is add a physics layer to each tile set itself, or each tile. So now when I click it, that basically added a collision shape to it. And that is the collision shape. You can edit it very uniquely if you want, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it as a block. So I'm just going to control Z and leave it like that. But if you do have like a slanted slope, you can do that by just doing this, right? By having a slant. Um, I don't believe we have any of that. Well, we do right there. <laughs> um, but we're probably not going to be using that. We have one there as well, but it's up to you. Uh, we have one there as well, so that's cool. We can maybe use that later on. Okay, so now let's see what we get. So let's play and see what we got. Awesome, we now collide with the floor. So let's actually um, go over here. Let's delete the panel, and then let's fill in our dirt a little bit because you can kind of see the bottom. Awesome. And now what we can also do is I believe we should be able to add walls. So let's actually add collision to the wall as well. So let's go over to the tile set and we're still in the paint. So let's just add a collision here. Let's add it to all of them. We can pretty much add it to all of these and let's go back to our tile map. And now we can add a wall on the side. So if we go to terrain, oh, sorry, we have to go to map, open up our map and let's draw. So let's, Actually, what we can do is let's create a long ground, much more dirt under it. And then what we can do is actually add the wall. So let's add a wall that basically shows that we're finished moving. We can't go any further. And let's add some dirt. There we go. And let's do the same on the other side. We can do it over here. We'll do like one little wall here and we shouldn't have to add anything after that because I'll show you guys how to actually make sure we our screen doesn't go off. So here you can see that I can see from the left. Now, if I want to limit my camera, this is actually very easy. What I can do is go into my player, 
into my camera and there's a limit section. Now the left right top is, is basically this part. So the left is this guy and the left I want to set it to zero. The top I want to set it to zero as well. So this will basically limit it to those two points. So now in my world when I play it'll limit it to the top right of that corner. If you want it to limit it to the bottom as well you can totally do that. You can limit it like under here if you don't want to see the dirt or if you don't want to draw that dirt that's totally fine. All right. Now that we have that, 